authority. Pinpoint precision with exact track 4D. Dissecting storms, exposing dangerous conditions miles above the surface. It really is great to see neighbors helping neighbors using a surfboard. That's kind of cool, too. Uh, whole Good time story. I was sitting there listening to it, and I was thinking, man, I got five surfboards sitting there not doing anything. Well, Although some might be coming out this weekend, especially oh. with the tropical waves on the way. Uh, look for those to increase the rip currents that we started talking about there. High risk for rip currents, and that is going to continue into that weekend forecast. Let's get you ready for the waves ahead. You might be out there with the showers. Keep listening for the rumble out there. The potential for some thunderstorms is those are also possible embedded here inside of these that will continue to push on shore. So let me take you from where we sit here as we're watching the radar and we'll track a couple of these. They are numerous, but look at our lightning count. We're down to zero right now. St. George coming over a couple of minutes and Clarking showing about 20. You might just get scraped as a lot of what is down toward the southern end here. You can see it already starting to turn gray as some of that is fading away and getting a little bit closer over toward Highway 301 between Hugh and Lottie slipping across. Highland got some downpours coming through. Still no thunder. Kids might be trying to make it home here after uh, practice or classes, and they may hit the downpours along the way. This looks like Crooked Road and Highway 301 will be the uh, major roads there that will be crossing. And south of Palatka, these have already pushed through areas around Lundy and Buffalo Bluff. They'll continue out near Hunter and in southern Putnam County as they're moving away. Folks, keep an eye on this thing. It feels like I'm talking about Helene all over again. Not the same extent here hopefully but what we're watching um, still has a lot of questions it's a 10 percent chance in the two-day window it's up to a 50 percent chance but now the models are picking up on it and i'm talking both as we look to the upcoming work week and our newest spot that I showed you there off the uh, top of the show as it continues. All right, so here's our low pressure area. I'll pause it into Monday, and the first thing you see, a little bit of white showing and the yellow peeking out underneath that low. So this is both the Euro and the GFS now coming online, same page and same general area as it tries to steer into what will be anywhere between Fort Myers, northward into Tampa. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that right now as there's still questions as to where this ultimately could land as it crosses over the peninsula as we move from Wednesday, Wednesday night, and by Thursday moving offshore and continuing to head on out of here. And that would take the rain along with it that we would see uh, looking into the upcoming weekend. All right, so that's just one part of the equation. The next part is the potential for the rainfall as it will continue to stream through. And if you notice the path, this is a little bit more to the north than what we saw with the uh, model. So this too in our rainfall models will continue to undergo some of those changes and some of the more important changes that we've seen here. Let me clear out of the banner. Uh, we'll go up to Waycross showing what could be about an inch, inch and a half of rain, almost two inches. And that's in the green. As we get into these yellow areas, we're getting into two and a half to three inches. The red will be anywhere between four to six. And as we get into the purple colors here, this is where we're at six to eight with some areas that could see into Flagler County up to and these are all estimates right now up to around a foot of rainfall here and that it would, would basically be um, Wednesday or late Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night and then leaving the area on Thursday. This is why we've continued to monitor that spot in the Gulf of Mexico because of what could be the heavy rainfall. Meanwhile, Kirk, a major hurricane and continues. We'll have the five o'clock advisory when we see back here at five. The models have backed off on the category five, but still keep it as a major hurricane and the waves are heading our way. We should start to see those by Sunday and continuing into the work week and Leslie a little bit stronger incrementally here coming up to 65 miles an hour and also expected to maintain residents there in the uh, open waters of the Atlantic as it strengthens and that model too is backed off to a category two at one point it was showing major hurricane which is still a possibility 87 degrees at the airport that would be the high uh, as a matter of fact we were at 86 degrees feels like 95 high risk for rip currents is going to continue as we head out to the beaches not only will the onshore flow have an effect there but as we start to see some of that tropical swell coming through with waves that are increasing like I was saying the models that I like here are showing 
once they all started to turn around at one point they were saying oh it's too far away but then they all started to pop and they're still showing what could be six to eight footers as they come through 70s will start the day daytime highs and this continues through the weekend will take us into the 80s along with that chance for some showers even some isolated storms as we make our way mainly during the afternoon hours that will settle somewhat but still staying a little showery even in the overnight hours think about that as you're setting up the tents and you're getting ready for game day on Sunday and or if you're going out to check out the cruisers there in Putnam County. I hope it's more shine than rain. It's a rain or shine event. Sunday is game day. The unsettled pattern and what will become windy and possibly really wet here. So those numbers are likely to move up Wednesday into that Thursday forecast. Ashley. Richard, thank you.